is fight night in the Chechen capital of Grozny. I think MMA is the sport of the peoples, of the Caucasus, and for the Chechens. In America, kids play basketball, football, and baseball. In Chechnya and in Dagestan, where Tamerlan and Johar Sarnay have spent part of their childhood, they wrestle and do martial arts. Fighting is a way of life. For a few people here, so is extremism. Beslan Isayev is one of many fighters here trying to use his sport as a way out. It's in our blood, fighting, battles, wrestling, all of it. It's in our genes. It was in Tamerlan Tsarnaev's blood as he trained to box. Named for the infamous conqueror who killed millions in the 14th century, Tamerlan allegedly descended into radical Islam after his Olympic dream ended. Was one outlet replaced by the other? We don't know. What we do know is that for many people here, MMA is like a religion. This building is the holiest of holies. Grozny tried to absorb this, the biggest bombardment since President Yeltsin ordered his troops in. Over the last two decades, this region has been ravaged by two wars and a steady stream of terror attacks. And in this place that gave rise to the infamous Black Widow suicide bombers, even the little girls learned to wrestle too. The bad temper times stayed in our blood, and now we need to transform it into something. On MMA forums around the world, vocative analysts find that the number of messages and postings about fighters from the Caucasus has increased exponentially over the last three years. In the past few years, Beslan and others from the region have flooded MMA leagues, from the smaller circuits to the big octagon on American cable TV, the UFC. Notice Beslan's ear. That's what happens in this sport. You get hit a lot. The fighters wear it like a badge. Here we are like the world of animals. The strongest survive. <laughs> Three years ago, Razul Mirzaev was a rising fighter with a 5-0 record when he punched a 19-year-old outside a club in Moscow. The man died from his injuries. Mirzaev spent 15 months in prison for manslaughter. I thought it was a dream. Sometimes I still wake up and look at the ceiling and wonder if I'm still asleep. Bakadev recently went with Mirzaev as he visited his grammar school in Dagestan. He is still seen as a hero here. He used wrestling and fighting to find a way out of a place now perceived by many as a breeding ground for terrorists. A common opinion about us has become very negative, that we are all extremists and bandits. No, we are like everybody else. Compared to war, for these fighters, the ring is not all that frightening. We got bombs going off and gunshots every day. It's hard to even compare what goes on in the gym to all that noise. Not all the fighters here are so impartial. Mahmudov believes the bombings in Boston were a conspiracy. I feel sadness and pain for the people in Boston who suffered. But at the same time, I feel sadness for the Sarnayevs, who are used as scapegoats. I don't think the act was carried out by the guys who are blamed for it. Every nation has its own crazies. Sadrudin Nasrudinov is Russia's female Olympic wrestling coach based in Dagestan's capital city, Mahachkala. He says the Sarnaya brothers are not representative of Dagestan. It's hard to explain what the Tsarnaevs want, what their end goal is. The guys who did this at the Boston Marathon, this could happen at any sporting event, one where even I could be, somewhere in Dagestan. There are no guarantees.